I am scanning all over the place and not coming up with a true freshman who started his first game at any school. I'm thinking a lot of examples. Jake Fromm started his freshman year, but it was a few games in before Jacob Eason got hurt that he was given his chance three or four games into the season. Of course, Trevor Lawrence, you just mentioned CJ Stroud was a redshirt freshman. Everybody I'm thinking of aside from, I believe because there was a quarterback at Minnesota a couple years ago, and I think his name was Alex Anikstead, mm. uh, who was a walk-on right. true freshman quarterback. And the reason he became part of a trivia answer was he was the only player other than, famously, Baker Mayfield, mm. who was a walk-on true freshman who won the job at Texas Tech. Yep, that's true. The <clears throat> the Minnesota kid, I had remember right as you were starting to speak about him, I had remembered uh remembered that one. So, uh yeah, it's I mean, it's it's happened, so it's not something that's going to it's going to be setting a precedent, but it's not something that happens very often. So, and you know, I, I think Jackson Arnold, he he'd kind of, you know, you you wonder how much of this is just you know, player speak, but he was, you know, thrilled to see that Dylan Gabriel was coming back, thrilled the fact that, um, you know, that that really he would have an opportunity to learn a little bit from him in terms of the offense and in terms of, you know, what what this looks like at this level versus versus high school. So, uh, you know, whether that's whether that's true or not, I mean, I think every kid wants to come in and play immediately. And unless that they know they're not developed at the same level, so we'll see how that goes, uh, Mark. But I, I think it'll be it'll be something at the very least for Oklahoma fans. I think Oklahoma can be much more confident if the if the starter goes down that you got another guy that's that's capable of, of going in and making some plays for you. I'm verifying two guys, and I think they started as true freshmen their first game. JT Daniels, USC, and Dorian Thompson Robinson, UCLA. But yeah, that's that's it's really rare. Bryce yeah, Young did not. Yeah. Justin Fields. Yeah. We can go down the list of the elite quarterbacks in the last five to ten years. Yeah, and that's interesting. I mean, JT Daniels has has went through just, I mean, you know, a, a ton of injuries in his career as well. But he's gone through a, t- a ton of teams. Um, but he was, you know, he was pretty effective as a true freshman uh, for for USC. Played pretty well. You know, he um, DTR was was not quite as good as a <clears throat> excuse me as a true freshman. But yeah, it's uh, it's. You know, there's some there's some obvious limitations that that Dylan Gabriel has that, but I think the one thing that you have to keep, I mean, he has enormous knowledge in this system, uh, in Jeff Levy's system, having been with him at UCF and then obviously this past year at Oklahoma. Does the does the experience and the knowledge of the of the offense overtake the you know kind of the raw talent and natural abilities, but obviously less knowledge and less experience. So it will be, um, you know, I think it will be interesting. I would, and this is, you know, at, at this point, things could change a ton between now and um, end of August, early September. But I I would, I would be, I, I still think Dylan Gabriel probably gets the, the nod early on, but wouldn't at all be surprised to see at some point as Jackson Arnold kind of gets the, uh, gets the knowledge and gets the experience and the understanding that he, um, you know, would would po- possibly be in a position to overtake him at some point in the season. The remarkable thing about JT Daniels, this is all coming back to me now, is that he not only started as a true freshman at USC, but he was supposed to be a high school senior who oh. reclassified, and because of the situation surrounding his reclassification, he was not able to participate in spring practice so he didn't start until the summer in school and still won the starting job and they trotted him out week one against uh, UNLV and he went 21 for 35 for 282 and a touchdown right out of the gate 
Hmm. Yeah, so it, it can it, cer- it certainly can happen. You know, I'm trying to remember back to that to that team if there was a if, if there was a viable alternative. Um, you know, just in terms of yeah what he was I, and I don't remember at this point, but um they didn't have a good team. They went five and seven. Yeah, I was trying to remember, was that the year was um Keaton Slovis on that team yet, or had he was that a year before? Yeah, so um, the year before was Sam Darnold's last season. Yeah. So then Darnold leaves and JT Daniels wins the job. And I I thought he was in competition with like Max Brown. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're it right, was yeah. the next season oh, that yeah. he started at the beginning of the year, got hurt the first or second game, and Keaton Slovis came in. But I don't know what his um, class status was at that point, if he was around the year before or not. But, uh, yeah, uh, apparently not. So, yeah, Keaton Slovis was not uh, – on that 2018 team, he was a freshman. He was a true freshman in 2019 and took over for JT Daniels the two or three games into the season and threw 30 touchdowns. Yep. Yep. I remember, remember that now. So yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting to watch. It's, it's something that um, is a possibility. I mean, I think the, the natural reaction is if you have to start a, um, if you have to start a true a true freshman um, as your starting quarterback at Oklahoma, then you're in some trouble. But I wouldn't necessarily think that's the case with the experience that you got with Dylan Gabriel. I think it would be a situation where he was just that good, and he just it's impossible to keep him off the field. So not a situation where well, there's no one else, and this is a you know like a USC situation that was a five and seven team um, that um, just didn't have another you know, real good option at that spot. 